Good morning everyone, today we're looking at another bearing watch. I have done a bearing solar watch before, but we're going to be looking at a different sort of variant of the colour today. So an initial look at the box is it's a simple sort of lightweight card outside box with this sort of uh, dotted line texturing on the front here. A simple sort of sticker to go over the lid as well, just to keep that down. Overall it's a very, very simple, very, very functional style box. Sticker. Inside reveals a grey detailing with a grey sock for the watch to be sat on. So here we go guys, this is the Bering Solar in the blue. It's got a 33mm case diameter with a 8mm case thickness. Retails at £210, probably weighs around about 50 grams, not a, not a heavy watch, and uses a solar quartz movement. So this has got what they call a tonu shape, so it's a bit like a rounded square sort of thing. Uh, waterproof to three atmospheres. So if we have a look at that dial, we've got a sort of a old fashioned vintage style lined effect to the actual main centerpiece to the dial. Then the outside is a navy blue with fully luminous hands, fully luminous increments dotted around. You've got sapphire glass, it's curved to go over the top of the actual face of the watch. Rather than being, rather than being flat, it's got that sort of curved structure to it. It's full, um, this casing is a full 316 stainless steel IP plated uh, silver Stain, uh, sorry, uh, start that again. 316 stainless steel silver plated arm plating. Where it's got like a minimalistic approach, really, in terms of the simplicity. So, coming out to the casing, obviously, we've got a better look at that stainless steel casing here. Let's have a look at the crown. So, the crown's got a polished effect on it, with a uh, looks like quite small in size. Let's have a look at the uh, that now. Only one position to this crown because obviously there's no, actually there is a day dial, sorry, it's hidden, it was hidden. Nice strong movement to the hands in the second position. See if I can. And nice, uh, the clicks are well defined, which is a nice thing. Um, yeah, so the date dial is nice and smooth, a little bit tiny, probably might need a Cyclops eye or good eyesight to be able to see that. When the uh, battery is fully charged, you get a six to 12 month battery life, but any sort of exposure to light will charge the battery anyway. So it's, if it's sitting in the cupboard for a while, it might drain. So count to the strap. You've got a 29 millimeter strap, but I'm not sure you'll be able to change it. It's a mesh style strap with a vintage style sliding buckle. So this flicks, uh, this little bit here, this like it flicks up so you can slide it up and down based on how you want it to fit. It's a full navy blue mesh style strap going all the way around with a mesh, like a uh, iron plated blue stainless steel, um, I guess you can call it clasp, and that just links on the top here with, um, if you wanted to adjust that, just need to use the other piece, but that's what, that would sit here, roughly. Come down to the back of the casing, full bearing style back plate here, a few more markings on the back. These straps are held in place by little tiny screws if you ever want to remove the uh, strap. So there we go guys, that is the Bering Solar Blue variant.